Hello everyone, welcome at iSorb Academy. In this video I'd like to show you how to install and configure iSorb FileSync client on your Windows computer. FileSync is a brand new client of iSorb Server 12, allowing you to easily synchronize files between your computer and your files folder on iSorb server. You probably know public storage clients like Dropbox, OneDrive, Google Drive and so on. So iSorb FileSync is pretty the same client which allows you to keep selected folders synchronized with your account. I've just downloaded installation file FileSync, so let's install it first. Let's start with the next. Please read license agreement carefully and accept it here. You can proceed. Select the destination folder of iSERP FileSync and click Next. Now installation can continue. In case of some packages are required by the installer, installer should automatically ask you whether to install it or not. And we are done! As you can see, installation of iSERP FileSync client is very easy and very fast. So let's configure it. I have to agree with the terms and click Next. Fill in the email address of your iSorp account and click Next. Fill in your password and continue to sign in. FileSync client should automatically connect to your iSorp server and get all the configuration necessary. Basically, there are two options how to synchronize with your iSorp account. If you already have some shared data in your account, you can synchronize all shared folders together with your files. If you don't need it and like to synchronize only your own data, just go to Only My Folders. And that's it. You can start the synchronization by the Sync Now button. FileSync client should now synchronize all the data found in your account. The notification window should be found on the bottom right corner of your Windows computer. According to size, it may take few minutes. So, seems to be ready. Let's have a look at synchronized files now. ISO FileSync automatically creates a virtual drive in your computer. So once you open the Windows Explorer, and go to this PC. You should see a new drive in your computer. Name of the drive is FileSync. And I have it now as the virtual drive with the letter Z. That's what we can change later on in the settings. Let's open the drive and compare the content with content stored in my ISOR web client. I see the documents folder here. That's my documents in ISOR web client. Let's open it. And as you can see, I have here three folders. Docs, screenshots, tools, and some files stored directly in the folder. How it looks like in my web client. Well, as you can see, I have the same structure here as well. All the files and folders from my iSERP account are now synchronized with my computer. So the structure is the same. Since now I can add any file or folder on any site and it will be automatically synchronized to the other site. Let's have a look at it. I have here a new screenshot of FileSync dialog here in my documents folder. And I would like to store it in my screenshots folder. Easiest way for me would be to copy this file into the virtual FileSync drive. So I will copy it go to Virtual File Sync Drive, into Documents folder, Screenshots, and paste it here. As you can see, File Sync Client just uploaded the file automatically to the web client. So let's see it here. I go to Screenshots, and there it is, File Sync PNG. And last part of this video would be about preferences of ISO for File Sync. If you will go to the system tray, you should find their file sync icon. To visit preferences of client, just go to this settings icon and select preferences. There are options to change language, select where will be synchronized data stored, 
which letter would be used, which folders would be synchronized with iSERP server, whether to see notifications about synchronization, and if file sync will automatically start with your computer. So that's it. I'm pretty sure that you will love this tool. Collaboration and usage of iSERP server features are now much easier than ever before. And if you are not a Windows user, don't be sad. We have the same app also for Mac users as well as Linux users. So thank you for your attention and see you later. Bye. Okay, what else? Did you like this video? So leave us a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss any other. I also recommend you our next video, which is as well related to iSWARP. See you there. Bye.